I'm sure it could have gone another way, a completely different way, a way that hasn't ever come to mind, but that's a given. One can never observe all the possibilities and still go on to the next. Sometimes one just exits and enters again. I think I can agree with myself that it's not a matter of choice. You might think that agreeing is a kind of choice, even a blatant choice, but that's not all you're interested in either. There's another determining factor, and that's what we have to concentrate on. At least I do. I agree, it's easy to get sidetracked. It's not even that there's a lot going on. We're just busy. I mean, it's not complicated. You can go on, I can go on. We can assume there's something happening or not something happening. I don't know. Perhaps it's unfair to go on. Maybe we should take our minds off it, think about something else. Maybe it's not worth thinking about at all, but that leads to other things just as problematic. Maybe it should be more complicated. We're looking at it too simply. Look, we don't have to consider all the possibilities, but instead really complicate one, if that's what you want to do. I don't know. Maybe it's my fault. I came unprepared. I'm not ready to be complex. I don't think that's the answer, though. I don't think it's an answer we're looking for. In certain ways, that's probably obvious by now. Even knowing that you're a little uneasy with it, and I am too, but I think it's a way I can work with now, and maybe you can, and maybe you can't. I mean, I'm thinking about that. There's time involved here, and it's yours as much as mine. I certainly don't want to threaten your time or make you feel you have to be decisive, yet I want you to be here. I mean, I assume you are here, but I don't want to back you into a corner, and by the same token, I don't want to start from that corner. That's a particular relationship I would like to put aside for now. I know this isn't free of bullshit. I mean, I'm coming from somewhat of a self-conscious place. It's a kind of stacking. I mean, the ideas just pile up but aren't interwoven. They're not connected or disconnected. It's a thought, at least. I can see it. Disembodied ideas being thrown against a wall. But that isn't fair. That isn't fair for me or you. That really kind of loads things down, and that's not my intention. I can assure you of that. I want you to be with me. I mean, you don't have to listen. Just hear me out. I don't want you to be involved in deciphering anything, but then that's your prerogative, and I don't want to get in your way. There's something that can be said for that, and I hear you, but I don't want to listen to it. I realize it's easy for one to say that I'm being ambiguous, but I don't think so. I mean, if you want to leave, you can do that or you can just turn off. I'm not trying to say I'm indifferent. I just think there's a way here. Maybe you really do hear me, and I'm going on and on, but we have to continue for some time. I mean, I think that's part of it. It would be easy to stop at this point. It would just be interesting and over and possibly boring, but that isn't even the issue. It's important that we go on. This is the way I think it has to be right now. If it wasn't this, it would be that and there's still this area we have to get through so that the this and the that won't become significant to this. I mean, what I am talking about isn't important in that way that importance draws attention. You might even think this is a game of some sort, but really, you've tried ways that were adjacent to this one when you weren't thinking about the consequences. You may even have heard this before in so many words, but I want to go on. I'm not interested in this kind of talking. It has its purpose, but it can get very sticky. I would rather settle with you, some way that's non-reversible, a way of being with you when it's the only way. When I arrived here, I had no way of knowing it would be this way. I thought about it a lot in the beginning. I tried different ways of thinking of you, what your response would be, and that has to be considered now, too. I've never lost sight of that. I don't think there's been a loss of anything. It's just that I haven't been accumulating things for me or you. There's always time for a sense of urgency. I want to avoid that for now. I don't know, though. Maybe you're waiting for that, waiting and listening.